Hi guys, karibuni tena kwenye Malezi Bora. I'm your host Juliet. Today I'm joined na two amazing ladies ambao tutakuwa tunashare kuhusu how to balance work and motherhood. I know it's hard to strike this balance and leo tutasikia two experience yao watatuambia venye wameweza ku strike that balance mwingine amesema hajaweza bado ku strike the balance so let's have this conversation you can tweet us you can go to our facebook page and keep the conversation going karibuni sana Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, <laughs> nice being here. Wow. <laughs> Karibu. Yeah. Asante. Jackie, Sasa. Wasana. Ah, wow. Good to see you. Uh, same here. And you're looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Yeah, so, yeah. it's our weakness actually. Wow. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> As moms. <laughs> As moms, you have wow. to the part. That's great. I'm yeah. excited to see you and I love the fact that we are, we are discussing to discuss kuhusu who strike the balance as a mom and as a staff you know because yeah. hizo zote ni responsibilities zetu na lazima tu you know zote zinatutegemea and we have to deliver in all cases so maybe beck you can start us off utuambie your mom to i know your mom to one yes. utuambie how your journey in motherhood has been uh-huh. yeah is there a balance <laughs> Maybe that's what I should start to. I don't think it's a balance. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm a mother and a wife. Wow. I'm a mother to a baby girl. Wow. She's called Kyla. Wow. Kyla Naisha. Uh-huh. A very beautiful girl. She's one year and eight months wow. old. So, it may be hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> and and uh, as much as it's very beautiful to, to just have a baby, yeah. um, I think nothing prepares you enough uh, for motherhood. Yes. Um, ukisema balance yani nashindwa kama iko hiyo balance <laughs> i'm yet to get there maybe it's just managing yeah. una manage tu una try tu unaona nini itawak nini haiwezi work uh, yeah so my journey has been great um, but as a first time mom it was it was a bit difficult mm. let me just talk from pregnancy yes uh, i mean all these things are happening to you your body is changing yeah. what i understand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys understand me uh-huh. you don't even know what is happening to you you're not yourself yes. sort of yes. number one you have to be at work so it's usually very hard sometimes to balance but um someone once told me that uh people don't care yeah mm-hmm. it's you who's pregnant yes. it's not everyone else so eh pambana na hali yako find a way of just containing your emotions yeah. and work mm. and deal with people like mm. learn to work with people somehow yeah. so for me it was hard from that point okay. and um, yeah i had I had instances where it was up and down and but but eventually i managed or like i said the the part that it, it's not showing that was the most you know difficult part because yeah. you can't go telling everyone hey baby <laughs> you have to understand ball. Me. yeah like when you understand <laughs> i'm pregnant you, you ball. <laughs> eh. but no when it's not showing yeah. you must understand it mm-hmm. yeah so wakati cs kidogo sometimes i wake up in the morning i, I remember during the last uh, trimester mm. i had high blood pressure mm. so i was on and off work sometimes so it was uh, it was easier then but when it's not showing yeah. it's hard okay. now crossing over to motherhood mm. There you are. Oh, by the way, your your career just like slows. Mm-hmm. Let me not say like it dips. Mm-hmm. It slows. Mm-hmm. It slows to a point like uh, even your bosses stop giving you some responsibilities. Yeah. At one point it's good. At another point again, it affects you. Like you start feeling incapacitated. Yeah. You start feeling eh. Kwani it's easy kitu. Kwa nini ametuma na nina sio mimi? Yeah. Eh, then you you realize that wana ku understand had very like i had very good bosses who, who understood me at that time and i yeah at some point you find it offensive you know it's like hormones does na kwambia ah wase wakutaki you're pregnant yeah we are going to naweza your balance cord is going to dip because i mean right now you're not able to do a lot yeah so that was that was hard and um but but now of course after delivering and seeing the baby Kyla is one of the reasons I I I, I always feel like it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's it's all worth it. Wow. Wow. When I go home and see her, I'm like, yeah, it's worth it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm yet to find that balance. <laughs> Jackie, mm. how has your journey been? Uh, me? 
now what can I say actually? Because me, I'm not a, a first-time mom like she is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have like two pretty girls just like me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the first one is 11, the second one is 7. Uh, so like I'm a, I'm a, nime, nime bubea kwa hii biyashara. Yeah. Uh, ni biyashara wa hii kazi. <laughs> kazi. <laughs> <laughs> nime bubea na nime, like, uh, what, how can I put it? Nimesha zeeka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for me, the journey has been like, she, like she started, you you go down kabisa. Yeah. Then when they grow, you also grow. Mm-hmm. You grow, you grow, you grow. And I'm here because of them. Because they push me every day. Mm. I wake up because they have to eat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. And is there a time that in your journey you felt like maybe you're not doing as much as it is expected of you as a mom? Labda una feel kuna kitu uh unafaa kufanya but hujafanya. So there's a, that ka guilt inside you that makes you feel hey, I'm feeling as a mom. Do you at some point ever feel that way? Yes, in the beginning uh, uh, as a mother of girls, you know. I've gone through everything as a as a girl growing up and now I'm seeing my girls also growing up. So there are things that maybe they would want me to give them but I can't just cuz I can't you know. So uh sometimes you just get to a place where you feel like hiyo ni ache acha ni ache to God God will deal with that. But where I can provide where I can give I always try my best but there's also that there's always that guilt. Okay. For me, I think it was the first few months when I, like, I think on the fourth month when I came back to work. Mm-hmm. Um, at that time, I was expressing. Uh, I, I was using a manual pump. The express. Uh, it was three months after delivery, and I had I had a, a CS. Okay. So I'd come to work, and uh, in the evening. Okay, so before I leave in the morning. Uh, I express then when I go back home in the afternoon I have to express again for tomorrow then I feed the I just breastfeed the baby and I remember I had left some milk and now the baby was growing meaning that she needed more milk I didn't I didn't have a lot of milk and uh, just the hassle of, of expressing was was too hard f- you know for me yeah so I got this phone call I had my sister-in-law staying with us the okay. first year okay. so she called me and she told me that the baby's milk is over and I still had, I think, some two hours to go home. And um, I remember just going to the loo and crying. Yeah. <laughs> like a fool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Instead of rushing home. <laughs> I had to finish what I was doing, Kwanzaa, because I was still working. Yeah. So the two hours after that, I, I rushed home. Mm. I, I went home, like, really fast. And okay. my baby was there crying. Mm. And she couldn't be given water yet because the pediatrician had not recommended it yeah. yet. She's not yet six. She's not yet six. Yeah. And then I haven't introduced her to formula milk yet. So there I am. Mm. Like I had to go and feed her. Wow. I felt her crying. Wow. <laughs> I was so guilty. I was so guilty. Because now you know she was growing and she's she was hungry. She was getting hungry over mm. time and the milk wasn't enough for her. Yeah. And that day I had to go like I called the pediatrician and, and asked, is it okay if I introduce formula milk? Are you sure you don't have milk? Yes. No, I, I think it's not enough. Mm. That's when I, go, I went and got, you know, formula milk mm. and now started substituting okay. because I felt like, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's the one instance mm. that and I think, do, I, felt, think I felt so guilty. Mm. Yeah. Na unafeel ni kama maybe ikufika point ufike mm-hmm. ati una maziwa yeah. unafeel ni kama ili contribute one the fact that you are trying to to balance uko job uko um yes hiyo mm-hmm. ililetwa na hiyo mm-hmm. and then sometimes mm-hmm. unakuja hapa job you're very busy i don't know whether you'd even get those breaks as in i i, I know like uh, our um, our company is really good. Like I think the HR has put very good policies where you can go and express. Mm. You know, there's there's a nursing room, yeah. a very good room for that. But um, at that time, I think I was so I was away from work. Remember, <laughs> so you're coming back. You want to prove to people like, hey, by the way, I'm mm-hmm. back. Like I, I want to work. Mm-hmm. And then you want to get back to that space and, and you know, Becky, you're back. You work. I've done it. So you know? I have made it. I've gone like uh, you know, downloaded the baby, and now I'm back. <laughs> where? <laughs> so I didn't have time to even go and express. But you see, there's that 
pressure ya ile ku balance ku strike the balance umetoka especially ukitoka leave that maternity leave yeah. na kurudi job so maybe uh, Jackie you can sh- you said your first baby is 11 yes. eh mshafika <laughs> wow we 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, <laughs> we have a <laughs> long way to go <laughs> maybe you can share with us you wouldn't want to get there oh, really it's tough, it's it's tough. tough. Yes. na vile mimi nasikia nime nimefurahia like we just stand six nasikia ni kama nimefika pale niko eh my girl is six years aki mimi ningeza tu wangebaki tu pale four five apo cuz like the the older one right now she's getting into teenagehood so sometimes she can even wake up with mood swings pengine aliniambia nimfanyie kitu nikasahau cuz nilikuwa job kunika nikasahau maybe she told me to buy her something maybe a story book or a novel cuz right now she's reading the novels the that do robin hood so so maybe si kupata time ya kwenda kwa bookshop ama kupitia ta super ni buy something so but sometimes i confuse and is akwa mood ako moody but mimi nafikiria amekasirika so na huyu mdogo anafuata kenye sister yake mkubwa anafanya because huyu mwingine akwa moody pia yeye atakuwa moody so ataambiana na tukunywe chai na tukunywe chai tunamtesa hapo pia mimi najanga au mkunywe chai msikunywe ndai kunywa eh so yeah so how was it for you ile transition ya kutoka ya kutoka maternity leave kurudi job how was that transition ah okay for me uh the transition wasn't that bad because uh, when i was uh, pregnant mm-hmm. my mother in law was there so she was like assisting me with everything because with the second born actually i had an instance where one of the breast refused to nini kutoa maziwa mm-hmm. it was it, it's called breast abscess okay so i had to be operated on and then what were your maziwa cuz it was like for a month Oh, so you're really? una breastfeed with one breast this one is not i told you now you know when you're breastfeeding is one this other one also forms new yeah. oh. so i had to be operated on na nikambua i have to stop breastfeeding at 3 months uh-huh. so tukamweka kwa chakula okay. my mom in law showed us how to make food kwanza ikwe liquid form pake kwe solid form nini nini so I was assisted by my mother in law. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, that's nice. And uh Becky, what are what are the, the what are the challenges that you faced throughout your journey in motherhood that you can say this is your biggest challenge when it comes to the striking to striking the balance between job and motherhood? Um I don't know that put it like I faced <laughs> like I still face. <laughs> <laughs> what is that uh, that you're still, still going through <laughs> oh as a mother like you said i think the guilt sometimes is there because unataka ku unataka ku you want to be a, a mother mm. you want to be a wife mm. you need to be a wife and a mother yes. and on the other hand you still want your career to grow mm. um like i was telling you earlier on like earlier this year in march i was supposed to join school mm-hmm. And because it's something I had planned for a while and I remembered like in court nasema to you when one year kisha am toto mm-hmm. I can be able at least to go back to school. Yeah. But now I went uh, I enrolled <laughs> and then I thought twice again. Mm-hmm. I thought yani ndio ni ndio ni ende shule kutoka jioni maybe 5 to 8. Mm-hmm. It means that uh, I have to work in the morning here at work like I have to take the morning shows up to maybe around 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. So from 2 p.m. there's no I'm going to go back home and then I go back to town to school. So I, I'll have to come to work then in the afternoon I just go to class. Then I see my baby at what time? At 10. Yes. Yeah. No. Koi naingiana. Ah, no 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 no. So for me it's it's still a challenge. Mm. I still wanted to join this September. <laughs> Because eh nafikiriani mtoi bado think is she old enough is one year eight months she just turned eight months okay. one year eight months i'm thinking ita itakuwa poa kwake kweli because even right now i still feel like i don't spend enough time with her yeah. i feel like i don't spend time enough time with her because there are cultures that you want to inculcate in your in your child mm-hmm. i thank god for my husband he's very supportive and there's a way that we always want to raise the girl so when he's there i'm sure when he has time he has time with her and uh, I'm, i'm i'm okay like mm. but even him sometimes he's not there like throughout 
so it's usually very i'm still there like it's still a challenge <laughs> for me to be able to to understand like nitamwona sangapi like what when i see her what do i do with her at that time like i want to do so much like i want to i want to teach her how to, how to draw i want to teach her how to do these things and i'm hoping the guys who are with her during the day who are teaching her the same is a bit too. <laughs> culture i think wow. stealing your culture in your child mm. and uh, trying to get maybe your your help to 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 emulate your culture mm. and put it on kwa mtoto wako like amuonyeshe kile mnataka that's actually the biggest challenge wow. because there's a way you want to see your child growing mm. you, there's a way you you want your child molded in a certain way but now maybe the help who is going to spend most of her time with her yeah. most of the time with her mm. is not in a position to, to do that yeah to replicate what you want wow. per se so that that is still yeah so it's, it's usually to bad a challenge <laughs> and to you my biggest challenge i can say mm-hmm. was is actually myself because like you, as a first time mother you always want to please everyone but at the end of the day you can never do that yeah. so for my challenge was self love kujipenda kwanza because unaweza kuwa you have these kids you want to give them all the love that you want to give them you for, you end up forgetting yourself So for me what I decided is I love myself first cuz if you point as a you're you're a working mother you're a wife na uko na sisters na kila mtu anaexpect uwapatie hiyo love so una, unapata uko depressed kuna job inakusumbua kuna mfanyikazi ameamka leo amesema ya hataki kazi <laughs> eh sasa so, wow. so, utafanya nini yeah. and bado unataka ku protect hawa watoto because always yenda na ni wadogo always you are jirani unaona so mtu ajipende kwanza challenge yangu kubwa ilikuwa kujipenda cuz mm. nilikuwa na, na, na end up nimependa watu wengi wote nimewapatia kila kitu na nimejisahau had grown big wow. until a friend of mine <laughs> showed me some remedy and i'm losing weight wow. yeah, nice. and i've decided to love myself wow allow allow me take some feedback here okay kuna msiana sema hey good to see you ladies you are all super moms happy to see you all thank you thank you <laughs> thank you mwingine anasema i'm inspired by your stories i'm also looking at, i think she's paid so she's saying she's looking forward she's waiting okay. and i look forward to kwa mom so you you are encouraging other so much yeah. fun <laughs> the first yeah. time mama mani yeah i think she's <laughs> she's paid <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. thank you so much guys for watching. Wow, keep the feedback coming. We appreciate. And maybe you can share with us, have you ever reached a point whereby unakuwa judged by the people around you? Maybe wanaona ni kama you're not doing enough. Ufanyi venye inastahili kama mom. Maybe wanaona ni kama you should have been there to to take babies to school. You you should have been there to, you know, to do this and that, but how I understand cuz for example you as a producer maybe the call time it's way too early you see kama leo mimi nilikuwa na na, na kuja mapema i have to do that sijaona watoto wakienda shule you, you see such things in a fika point you're being judged by the community look at her she's a mother but hawezi fanya hivi na hivi she's a wife hawezi fanya hivi na hivi unaona you know, fika situation kama hiyo hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> i think people always judge women mothers especially mm-hmm. um our jui me always yeah. say like if you, if you're not living my life just uh, like if you don't know your channel na me mm-hmm. too because i i understand my struggles kuna watu tukupatia advice and then you'll receive advice from left right and center mm-hmm. people will tell you no don't feed your child yeah. um it's too early others will tell you apana you shouldn't be doing this do this mm-hmm. and then una feel ai kuna no doing the right thing mm-hmm. I remember at one point when I was pregnant someone told me um that uh you know I'm assuming because we're talking about pregnancy it's okay like to just uh, mm, motherhood it's, it's okay, okay to just talk about the pregnancy part because there are people watching who are pregnant so it got to a point someone told me that uh um I fo- like I they miscommunicated something here in the office they miscommunicated something and then they told me 
to wait. I was supposed to work on something. And then they told me, wait first, let me confirm something, and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get back to you. So when they didn't get back, I went to, to them like, eh, so you didn't get back. Like, I said, no, I just did it myself. I noticed you, you, for, you forgot. I said, no, I didn't forget. You told me to wait for, mm -hmm. for you to, you know, to give me a signal to continue. And then they told me, no, it's okay, I understand. It's that pregnancy mind. Yes. Yeah. So unfair. <laughs> Gosh, pregnancy Gosh. mind? Mm -hmm. Did I lose my mind because I'm pregnant? Have I lost my mind? I told her no. You told me to wait for you. Mm. It's okay. I understand. I understand in your state. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. There's nothing about my state that is connected to what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> it's all yeah. about my pregnancy. Yeah. So I, I felt very harshly judged, yeah. and especially that she was a fellow mom. Mm, wow. I, I felt so we are We are each other's enemies. Yeah. I felt so judged. Right now, right now I see, I see any pregnant woman, even here in the office, my colleagues, and even if they don't look nice, I go and tell them, by the way, you, you look so cute. Mm. You know, pregnancy looks good on you because I know what it feels like. Yeah. And it's so bad sometimes someone will just come and tell you, hey, your nose is big. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be judged from, you know, physically and also emotionally. Like people will judge you mm. and they'll judge you so harshly. Wow. And, yeah. So. And to you? Yeah, we're always judged. Pregnant women are always judged because I remember with my first pregnancy, I was working in a foreign country. So I didn't understand what was happening with my body. So here you are trying to hide the pregnancy for people not to see. And um, we had an editor in chief at that time. So she was like, you can't do this because you're pregnant. You know, like I'm sending you to go and do a report and you can't go do the interview that I told you to do because you're pregnant. Like she expected me to go hard on the guests, but I was still you know you're in a foreign country you're being told to interview a minister of something mm. you don't even know the politics of that country yeah. so i was judged from uh, the time i was pregnant when i was uh, in labor <laughs> i went i didn't know i was in labor so i just felt like stomach pains so i went to the hospital wearing jeans so the nurses are like oh na kujakuza no meva jeans I was also judged. Wow. <laughs> so we are we are always judged. Mm. But for me, the encouragement I can tell women is just raise your kids, do your thing the way you want to do it. Mm. Don't mind about what other people say. Because yeah. me, the decisions that I've made and up to now, people are they're like, Bono naishivo, naishivi kwa sababu natakapushivi. You can't fit in my shoes. Yeah. I'm the one who knows the kind of shoes that I'm wearing, the yeah. size that I'm wearing. Yeah. So no one can get into my shoes and be me. Wow. It's only me to be me. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. But even women, women need, sorry, also, I feel like women also need not to take advantage mm -hmm. of the pregnancy state and also children mm -hmm. to make excuses. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that's why sometimes we are judged because we make excuses with kids. Yeah, oh, my napelika mshoa clinic. Oh, leo ni meamuka sisiki kwa amuka. At that time, you're just being lazy. You yeah. know, when you're pregnant, like, hormones tell you everything. Hormones tell you everything. <laughs> they, they direct you like you feel, ay. Wow. Leo now, siya sisiki kwa amuka. Mm. But don't, yeah. For for mothers, just, just do your best. Yeah. If for real you've done your best, God will help you, like, wow. throughout. Your last words to, as an advice to moms out there? Yeah. <laughs> First day moms, let me talk to those ones because I know they're usually very confused, <laughs> especially if you're expecting. Uh, motherhood is beautiful. Like you're going to have so much fun. You'll treasure your baby. You'll protect them with your whole life <laughs> for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You, there's just something so special about motherhood. Um, these challenges will be there, but talk to people. I've had people in my life, older people who I've spoken to mothers, couples, at least I seek advice. If you don't know something, if you don't understand something, at least have one person or two that you can talk to. Just yeah. don't seek advice from everyone. Everyone has their own experience. Yeah. And then babies go, grow differently. Don't compare your child with another child. At your kwa wani anata jetoka meno? No. Wachana nayo. Ata kitoka ikiwa wani and a half. It's okay. It's fine. If they don't talk at that time, if they don't walk at that time, it's fine. Wow. Because wow. your baby is not the other person's baby. They also have their own weaknesses and strengths. Wow. So learn to love your baby and commit them to God. Pray.
for that unborn child mm. and when they are born pray for them every morning bless them wow. because you're their parents thank you so much ladies yeah. it was great having you in the show <laughs> thank you i know you inspired many other moms out there especially on how to strike the balance as a mom and with job you know because najua wengi wengi tuna struggle and as you said we can never get there we can never uh, attain that balance so thank you so much guys for watching that has been malaysia bora with me your host juliet until next time bye bye